Here are my predictions for the future of cishet relationships over the next 20 years. Y'all, please go back and watch her entire video. She's talking about marriages and divorces and how things will look in the next 20 years regarding relationships. And I want to piggyback off of her. Like, watch her video because what she's talking about and what I'm about to talk about are two different things. But I have to go on and tell y'all the truth about what things will look like. A lot of y'all know, if you follow me, you know I'm an analyst. I do it by trade. And I've been analyzing things for years. I saw a lot of stuff coming. People used to call me crazy, but now they're like, Jonah, you saw it. Yes, I did. But I want to say something about how a lot of relationships will look in like the next 20 years. And some of you will be very bothered by it. A lot of you guys will be very triggered by it. And I get it. I love you, though. But the truth is the truth. No matter what, who tell it? All right, let's get into it. So within the next 20 years, you're going to see a paradigm shift. A lot of middle aged or older guys will date significantly, even sickly. Is that a word? Sickly? Well, if it's not, you know what I meant. So that makes it a real word with the etymology and everything. But anyway, they're going to date significantly younger women because these girls will be able to be better molded and groomed to become the submissive, subservient wives they want and desire. Because the middle aged or older women are like, no, get somebody else to do it. So they're going to go to the young girls to get them to do it. However, what men always fail to understand is that everything they do to us, we just flip it around and do it better. They teach us and we learn, honey. Because while they're dating the young girls, it's going to be a whole lot of young dudes available. Those young men will start getting coupled up with the older women because that's what you're seeing even now. It is creeping up. It's creeping in. It's like in the background. It's a lot of different channels. I see a lot of different posts. You know, it's not as loud as the older men who want younger women, but it's there steadily increasing. And within the next 20 to 25 years after all these older men are with younger girls, everything will shift. And women will start desiring, naturally desiring younger men. And in about 20 to 25 years, your average couple will be a woman in her late 30s or 40s and a guy who's late 20s, early 30s. Because everything has to come full circle. Watch. Now, what she's saying is true, but she's misleading her audience as well. To comfort her sorrows, to comfort her future, to comfort not being able to attract an older man. Why is what she's saying is true? Because this is happening as we speak. Example, Summer Walker, Shakira, and all the females who have hit the wall. Their only option is being with younger men. This is where she's misleading her audience is not stating why are those females going to be with younger men. Older females aren't desiring younger men. It's not their first choice. It's that they don't have a choice. It's their only choice. Why didn't she say that? Instead, she'll target men and their behavior, but not explain the female's behavior. It's interesting how they will always choose to highlight one thing and never the other. It's always about what's convenient to them. Females dating pool will be dry. And a lot of females are just going to be these younger cats playmates. Sadly though, there are going to be some simps and baiters who will put a ring on it. There are more sims today than there ever were. There are more bears today than there ever were. So to completely ignore that from the men's pool will be foolish. You always have sims today where they validate females, where they marry for your fours or will do anything for free or fours. So these older cats are going to target those type of younger cats and they're probably going to try and buy them into marrying them or giving them these 
countless of opportunities sell them this dream life of wedding and simps and baiters some will buy it men going for younger females isn't really anything entirely new so the fall of it sickening her and these females is because they're competing with younger women and the chances to find a car apart has increased even more now than it has for these females and these older cats in the last five six decades once again yes there will be a shift a drastic shift with the men and younger females a drastic shift with the women and the younger men The reason behind both are two different things. One is because men have more options and the other because females won't have any option. I'm your host, Reminate Princess, and these are my last thoughts. We have to be aware of the state of society today and We have to understand there's a reason for everything and all these drastic changes we're going to see in both men and women, female and male, there's a reason why it's going to turn out that way. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.